our floor mats and we'll need some hand weights today as well. Okay. okay. Take a minute to get those if you need it and then we'll start in a in a minute here. Is it 10 o'clock? Yep. So we'll get started while those couple people are coming back with their equipment. Then they can jump in. Let's start with some overhead reaches. So bring your chest up tall. Wide fingers reach overhead. And down. Let's do five more. You can coordinate your breathing. Inhaling as arms go up. Exhaling as they come down. Inhale up. Exhale down, really stretching your fingers wide on the way up. And let's do one more. Let's keep working on our posture. We'll move into a power up. So we're going to lean down forward and then explode back with wide arms, wide fingers. Let's do 10 like that. Down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10. Good. We're gonna move into our power rock with some <clears throat> head rotation. So as you lean down onto your side with one arm stretched up, I want you to turn your head as far as you can looking down and then turn your head excuse me, as far as you can towards the ceiling. Do that one more time. Look down and then turn up. Come back to the center and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Power rock, look down and stretch that neck coming up. Look down and look up. Good, reset. We'll do two head turns to each side. Power rock, look down, stretch your neck, look up. Look down, look up. Reset to the middle. Power rock. Look down, look up. Look down, look up. Good. Reset. Power rock. Look down and up. Each time, try to stretch a little bit further. Good. Power rock. Look down, look up. Look down, look up. Let's do one more to each side. Power rock, look down, look up. Look down, look up. And reset and power rock. Look down, look up. Look down, look up. All right, reset in the middle. We're gonna move on to a little bit of standing for our next couple exercises, we're gonna start with a sit to stand. So <clears throat> as you do the sit to stand, I want you to over-exaggerate that forward lean to help give you momentum to come up. If you do need to use your hands, you can still push with your hands, but I want you to bring your chest forward, bringing nose over toes to practice that momentum, okay? So let's do 10 in a row like that. Once you're in standing, we'll set our arms back into that power up movement, okay? So reach forward, one, nice and slow on the way down, reach forward, two, and down, reach, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, Six, reach, 
seven. Reach eight. Reach nine. And last one, 10. So let's stay up and standing. I'll show a seated version as well, but we're gonna do a couple different stretches as we lunge. And it can be a really small lunge, but you wanna step one foot forward so that you're kind of in a stride stance and see if you can get a mini knee bend. While you're holding this knee bend, I'm gonna have us reach our arms up overhead so that you're kind of extending your back backwards, trying to really stretch that back. And we're gonna hold here. But so come out of it because I want to show a seated version too. So same concept if you're seated, you're going to stretch your arms up overhead and I want you to arch your back backwards. If you can see me from the side, I'm really trying to use my arms to lengthen my spine to feel a stretch because we're going to hold that. So I'm going to get in my stride stance, mini lunge. If you want to hold on with one hand, you can still do the move with your other hand if you want to support yourself, okay? We're going to do a 10 second hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Come out of that, step back together, put the other leg in front. Again, you can keep one hand planted as the other arm comes up, or you can use both arms. If you're seated, you're reaching both arms overhead, stretch that back. Let's count again to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come back down. You can switch your feet again. Now we're going to do a twist with it. So you can have something next to you and you want it on the side that your leg, um, your forward leg is. So I have my right leg forward. So I have my chair here and you're either gonna plant your hand on your leg or on the chair and we're gonna twist away. So your hand is here and I rotate. That's a little tricky for balance. So you can do the same thing. Just put your opposite hand here or we're gonna twist away like that. And then we'll come back to the center. So if you're seated, do the same thing. Plant your hand on your knee and open up behind you, okay? So we're gonna stick to the same time, same side. I wanna do 10 repetitions. I'm not worried about how low you're lunging. Just kind of a mini knee bend for stability, okay? Let's do that 10 times. So you, your opposite hand is gonna plant on your knee or on the chair and rotate. That's one and come back. Two, and if it looked on your, if your hands on your knee, it looks like this. Three, four, five, or your hand can be up here as well. Six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Good, step your feet together. We're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna bring my chair to the other side. Now I'm putting my left foot in front. Remember, you're gonna take your opposite hand to your knee or to the chair and rotate away, not to the other side. We'll do that 10 times. One, my hand is here, it looks like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, good, step your feet together, shake your legs out, have a seat if you need to. We're done with our warm up, and we're gonna move into some of our stations. We're doing strength today for our stations. 
So I'm going to use my hand weights for all of these. So it's your option with or without weight. Pull my timer up. So the first one that we're going to do, you don't have to join me yet. I'm just going to start to explain them. As a squat with a power rock. So holding my weights in front of me, I'm going to squat. And then from the squat, I'm coming up into a rock. So I'm using that squat to help explode to the side. Squat, power rock. Squat, power rock. You can do this with something in front of you. So that as you're squatting, you have some support and you can keep one hand on your chair. If you're seated, instead of the squat, I want you to do a glute set. So for the glute set, you're going to brace your bottom most muscles, squeezing your glutes, and then do that power rock. Squeeze your glutes, power rock. Okay? So that's our first exercise. The second one, no weights. Your option to get into a full plank or a modified plank. So if I'm doing a modified plank, my hands are gonna be on my table here, holding this position. I'm gonna extend my leg. Let me show you this. So I'm in a modified plank. I'm gonna, with my knee straight, I'm doing a leg kick backwards. Or if that feels easy, you can get into a full plank, up on your toes and lift one leg up, okay? If you're seated, you're gonna do a leg kick backwards. For your stretching your leg back behind you and then bringing it forward. I don't know that you can see that that well. Stretch your leg back behind you and step it forward. Kick your leg back and come forward, okay? You could also do that in standing, hanging on, if you want more support than the modified plank version, okay? So a few versions how you can do that second one. And then we're going back to that lunge and hold for our third exercise. So I'm grabbing my weights again. And just like we did in the warm up. Stepping one leg forward. I'm going to switch this so that I can show you good support. One leg is going to lunge forward. I'm going to hold that lunge while I'm doing a rotator raise. So my arms are at 90 degrees like that. They turn out, turn up. My elbows stay at that 90 degrees. Rotate down and come in. If you want to do it one hand at a time so that you can hold on, that's a great option. See if you can hold one leg forward for the first 30 seconds, and then we'll put the other leg in front. And again, I'm doing a mini knee bend while I'm doing that raise with one hand, or you can hang on, or excuse me, both hands, or you can hang on and do it one hand. So if you're doing it one hand, go ahead and just stick to the same arm for the first minute. Second time through, we'll get the other side, okay? So let's do one minute on, 30 seconds off. We're gonna go two times through. I'm gonna pull up my timer. We're starting with that squat to power rock. You can have a chair in front of you, or if you're seated, you're doing a glute set, squeezing your bottom muscles, like you're scooting in bed, and then moving into that power rock. Ready? Let's start. Squat, power rock. Squat, power rock. Use your squat to help explode into that power rock. Either coming up on your toes or lifting that opposite leg off the ground. Nice job, everybody. We're halfway done. Squat, power rock. Squat, power rock.
Good job. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Good job. No wait for this next exercise. This is our plank or modified plank with a hip extension. Again, if you are not comfortable getting into a, a modified plank position, you can stand and do your leg kick. Or we're getting into that modified or full plank, holding this position and lifting your leg up. Three seconds to go. Let's begin. So in this plank it is all about keeping your core tight. Make sure you keep your back flat so that you're not rotating and that your hips don't come up like that. Keep them low. Good job, everybody. Almost halfway done. Fifteen to go. Three, two, and one. Good. Step your feet in and stand up. Next, we're doing our lunge with the rotator cuff raise. You can do one hand and stay hanging on, or you can use two hands, okay? At any time, if you need to drop your weights, drop your weights and see if you can still do the motion. So let's get into our mini knee bend, hold that lunge, and we're gonna start with our rotator cuff raise. At halfway, we're gonna switch and bring the other foot forward to do the opposite leg lunge. If your balance starts to get shaky, just do one hand. All right, let's switch feet. Other foot in front, mini knee bend, and same arm exercise. Elbows stay at a 90 degree angle. Good job. Go out, up, down, and in. And rest. Good. 30 second rest break. We're going back to the top. A squat into a power rock. Halfway done here. Good job. You should start to feel yourself breathing heavier. We want to be working at that higher level of intensity. Three, two, and one. Squat, power rock. See if you can come up on your toes or even lift that leg in the air. If you want to have something in front of you, you can keep one hand hanging on to a chair or your couch if you want some support. Squat, power rock. Squat, explode up to that power rock. Halfway done, good job. Keep working, nice job. Three, two, and one. Awesome. We're gonna set up for our modified plank with a hip, hip extension. You can stay standing if you don't wanna get into the modified plank and do your leg kick. As a reminder, if you're seated, 
You can do that leg kick backwards, stretching that foot behind you. Okay. Otherwise, we're getting down into our plank or modified plank here. All right, let's begin. Keep your hips low and your back straight as you do that leg kick. If this feels easy and you want to challenge yourself more, get down into a full plank. Good job, everybody. Halfway done. Five seconds to go. And rest, step your feet in and stand up. Final exercise, let's get set up for our lunge with the rotator cuff raise. If you were hanging on with one hand, stand on the other side of your chair so that you can use the other hand for the shoulder exercise this time. Five seconds to get ready. Okay, one foot forward, mini knee bend, and either one arm doing this rotator cuff raise so I can hang on, or you can use two. Your elbows stay at that 45 degree angle. Good job. At any time you can drop the weights and just do the movement with your arms. Let's switch feet, bring the other foot in front, mini knee bend, hold that knee bend while we do our rotator cuff raise. Nice job. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Grab some water, have a seat. Let's take a break before we go into our second set. While you are resting, I'm going to start to explain the exercises. You don't have to get up and join me yet. Um, so the first one that we're going to do is a bent over fly. So with my weights, you can do this standing where you want a little bit of bend in your knee and you're bringing your chest down forward so that you can raise your arms back. This works on your posture strength, the back of your shoulders and all your posture muscles. So it looks like this. This is about how far I'm bent over. You can do the same thing seated where you're leaning your body forward and I think the important distinction too is if you see my back, it's pretty flat. I'm not rounded. Don't bend your back rounding it, but you're bending at your hips so that you can keep your back flat. And then you can do that raise here. Okay. So notice my back stays flat. I'm not rounding it, but I'm engaging my core so that I can keep it flat. So that's the first exercise. The second one is going to be a squat and press. So this time, as you squat, you're going to incorporate that arm movement. So as I squat, I'm going to reach my arms out. And then on the next squat, I'm going to raise my arms up. So chest press to overhead press, OK? And if that feel, if one of the, like if the overhead press is hard on your shoulders, just do the chest press. You can pick and choose with that one. And the last exercise of this circuit is going to be a cross body reach. So this one I'm going to do with a wall behind me. Coming back to this one, we did it a few weeks ago. Reaching across, twisting so I can touch with one hand, doing a big pivot to reach across. Okay. 
three exercises, one minute on, 30 seconds off again. I'm gonna give everyone another 30 seconds before we get started. We're starting with our weights. Anytime if you need to drop them, feel free. If you feel off balance for this fly, the first exercise, I recommend doing it sitting instead. Um, so that way you can get both arms working together at the same time. All right, let's get started. So bending at my hips, my core stays engaged. And I'm raising my arms straight back. I'll show you my back. My back is flat, but there's a small knee bend and all the bend is coming from my hips, not my back. Keeping your chest forward, okay? At any time, if you need to stand up and shake it out, you can. You're about halfway done. About 10 seconds to go. Good job, everybody. And rest, stand up, shake it out. 30 seconds and then we're moving to our squat press. Alternating between that chest press forward and the overhead press while you're squatting. For the squat, if you want to hang on with one hand, that's a really good option for this one. You could still do the press while you're hanging on here with one hand, even for the overhead press if you want some support, okay? Let's get started. Squat press and squat press. Alternate between that forward chest press and the overhead press, okay? One minute of work here. You reach your arms as you squat. And then your arms come in when you stand back up. Try to coordinate that arm movement as you do that squat. Nice job. 20 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Good work. Third exercise is that cross body reach. No hand weights for this one. Standing at a wall so that you can hang on and support yourself. And when the timer starts, we're gonna do that reach and twist. Have about 10 seconds to find a spot. You could also do this behind your chair hanging onto your chair if you want to. I just think the back or the wall helps you get a little bit further. All right, let's begin. Twist gives you a target to reach for. Pivot on that foot. And I am bracing myself with one hand. So this hand stays touching the wall as I twist. This over behind you, halfway done. I'm not worried about speed for this one. See if you can reach a little bit further each time. Nice job, 15 seconds. And rest, good job. 30 seconds to go and we're jumping back to the beginning. So grab your weights for that bent, bent over fly or bent forward fly. 
Anytime, if this feels heavy on your arms, you can just do the movement without your weights. And really remember that posture that we want to get in. My back is flat. It's not round. I'm not bending forward so that my chest is pointed down, but my chest is up so I can stay flat. All right, let's begin. Make sure you're still looking up and that your chest is up as you're doing it so that you're not bending forward. Good job, your postures look good. Remember, anytime you can stand out of it and then come back in if you need a break. Twenty seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it off. Thirty seconds, and then we'll we'll do our squat press alternating between that chest press and that forward raise or overhead raise. If you were hanging on with one hand last time, go ahead and switch to the other side of the chair so that you can hang on with your other hand. If you're seated, you can follow along doing the same shoulder exercise. So chest press to overhead raise. All right, let's begin. Squat press. And now I'm going to do an overhead press as I squat. Squat press. Squat press. Nice job. Coordinating that arm movement as you squat. Good job. Halfway done, everybody. Pushing hard. Ten seconds. And rest. All right. Weights are down. Moving on to our torso twist at the wall. Still have 20 seconds to get set. Five seconds. All right, let's begin. Reach and twist. Trying to pivot on those toes. Brace yourself against the wall. Let it support you so that you can twist a little bit further. Good job, everybody. 30 more seconds. Couple more here. And rest. Awesome. Grab some water, have a seat. We're going to do a little bit of standing balance next. So give everyone another minute or so. Take your time. Recover from those intervals. 
And then we'll move into some balance. So it's good to practice your balance exercises, not only when you're fresh, but even like right now, when maybe we're a little fatigued from those circuits, because that's real life. You'll have to maintain your balance, not only when you're fresh, but especially when you're tired and when you've been out and about for a long time and <clears throat> you're getting a little bit more fatigued, but you still have to maintain your balance. So it's good to practice at kind of both times. A lot of these balance exercises that we'll do are good ones that I would do a piece of every day, keeping your balance strong. So go ahead and join me if you're not up yet. We're gonna start with one foot balance and I'm gonna use my chair to support me for all of these. So when you're doing these at home, you can do them right where you're exercising now. Uh, I mean, outside of the class where you have a little bit of support from your chair. A good, another good spot is to get your kitchen counter or bathroom counter. The first one we're gonna do is one foot balance, keeping your chest up. So I like to encourage people to do this like while you're brushing your teeth or while you're waiting for your coffee in the morning, incorporate it into your day. So let's do a 20 second count standing on one foot and make sure when you're standing on one foot that your knee isn't touching the inside of your other leg but that it stays out to the side. Sometimes when they're together like this, it helps us brace. So come into this position, you can use support in front of you and let's count for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's switch feet. If that felt real easy, you could even kind of hover your hand right above the chair so that whenever you need to put your hand down, you can. If you need support through both hands, use as much as you need. All right, 20 count on this other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so now we're gonna get into a tandem stance so your feet are one foot in front of the other like this. I don't think you can quite see my feet. And my camera down. So one foot's in front of the other like this, heel to toe. So in our heel to toe stance, I'm gonna have us do a, a torso twist or a shoulder twist. So keep my foot feet planted. I'm gonna twist from one side, pause in the middle, and then twist to the other side. Arms aren't super important. You can kind of have them in this ready stance. You can cross your arms. You can keep an arm on or keep a hand on your chair. We're gonna do 10 turns each way, okay? One. Whenever you need to study yourself, you can. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Let's switch, bring the other foot in front. So we're adding that shoulder twist, that torso twist for an extra balance challenge. Heel to toe may be enough challenge for you as is, but to make it a little bit harder, we can add those dynamic movement so that your feet have to stay still while you're shifting your weight. Let's do 10 twists again. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, use support if you need it. All right, now bring your feet together or they can stay apart because we're gonna do it with your eyes closed. I'm gonna stay hanging on for this one. So maybe start with your feet apart and see how that feels. And if that feels real easy, you can bring your feet together. While the eyes are closed, I'm gonna do a head turn now and I'm gonna stay holding on for this one. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 head turns each way while your hands are here. And feel free to adjust it. If you start that and that feels real easy, you can bring your feet together so you're touching. That will increase the challenge a little bit. So hand, a couple fingertips around the chair. Go ahead and close your eyes and we're gonna do those head turns. One, two, turning your head side to side, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, open your eyes. So a couple ideas to incorporate. Balance is so important to just regularly incorporate into what we're doing. If not, our balance can get harder. And it's something we have to intentionally practice. So I'm gonna get my mat set up here for our power moves. We're gonna do them supine or laying on your back today. If you prefer to stay seated, you can do all of these exercises and seated and I'll remind you of each of them. Get set up down on the ground. Give everyone a minute to join me. People are making their way. I'll start with the seated one. If you're sitting in your chair, that power up is our same warm up exercise we did. Bending down and explode out of that with arms back. So if you're laying down on your back, legs stay straight for this one. Arms are at your sides. You're gonna push down through your arms and your feet to lift your chest up. We'll turn more sideways. I think that'll be a better angle. Okay. So let's do 10 together. Let's count up by twos. Up, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, next we have our power rock. So for the power rock, you're gonna push down through one side. So I'm gonna push down through my left hand and my left foot to kind of brace myself to reach towards the right, okay? And then resetting. Power rock to the other side. If you're seated, you're doing that power rock that we did again in our warm up, reaching up and across, resetting, and then to the other side, okay? That's your seated move. Let's alternate side to side. 
and last we count back backward down from 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, for our power twist, we're all going to start with our arms wide, whether you're seated or laying down. And we're going to use a lot of momentum to bring one arm across to clap and twist, resetting back in the middle to open wide, and then power twist to the other side. Okay? So for this one, let's count up by spin. 12, open. 15, open. 18, open. 21, open. 24, open. 27, open. 30, open. 33, open. 36, open. 39, open. 42, 57, open, and 60. Good. Next, we're doing our power step. This one, your legs stay bent. And for this one, if you're seated in your chair, you're just going to alternate stepping one foot out and then one foot in. If you're laying down with me, we're going to add a scoot with this. So you're going to step both feet out to the side and scoot your hips out, then step both feet in and scoot your hips in. This is gonna help scooting in bed, but we're exaggerating those long scoot out. Step both feet back in. You can have your arms braced on the ground too, if that helps. Step out, scoot, step in, scoot. That's three, step out, Scoot, step in, four, step out, scoot, step in, five, step out, scoot, step in, six, step out, scoot, step in, seven, step out, Two, step in, eight, two more, step out, scoot, step in, scoot. All right, good job, everybody. We're all set with these power moves. Take your time coming back up to your chairs and we'll finish with some stretches. So take your time, roll it over. Make sure that you give yourself time in case you feel dizzy on your way up. Make sure you're not dizzy before you move. And as a reminder, we're coming up into all fours. You can bring one foot up and push through this leg or your chair if you need some support to come into standing. So take a minute to, to stand up. We're coming back to our chairs here.
And we'll finish with some stretching here. Like most people are back. Good. Let's start with um, some cat cows. So with your hands on your knees, I want you to arch your back. I'll turn sideways so you can see. Arching your back up and then drop your chest down. Arch up. Really feel a stretch. And then drop your back. Two. We'll go to eight. Arch up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. And eight. Scoot it forward for a hamstring stretch. Let's stretch one knee out in front. Keep this knee straight as you bend forward down towards your foot. Then we'll hold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, bring one leg up across, press down on your thigh, and again, bend forward at your hips, and we'll count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, bring one arm across your chest, pull it towards you, we'll hold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's stretch out our necks. So drop one ear towards your shoulder. Use that same arm to pull towards you and tuck this hand behind your back. Let's hold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Roll your head to the other side and switch your arms and hold here. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Roll your head back to the middle and up. We are all set for today. Thanks for exercising with me, and I'll see you next Monday. I'll stick around for a couple minutes if anyone has questions. Thank you. Very awesome well. job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good week, everybody. You too. Have a Thank good you, Katie. Good job. Have a great weekend. Good job, Katie. You too. Hi. Hey, Katie. Yeah. I have one, one question. It's, you know, when I look at the little people on, on the top, from time to time, one of them will have gone into a free. Do I need to report that, or is that something Michigan Parkinson would keep an eye on? Say that again. When you are look, keeping an eye on the little. Oh, you know. Thumbnails. I mean, of course, I watch you all the time, but I'm saying along the top is a line of people. Yeah. From time to time, one of them will go into a freeze. Do you mean like the camera freezes? No. I mean, like a like a Parkinson's freeze. Yeah. Um, no, that's not something you need to necessarily 
report. Um, I think we are kind of, I'm kind of keeping an eye on the tabs too. I can't see everyone's screen at the same time. Um, but I, I, I keep an eye on it too. And I've mentioned it to the Parkinson Foundation. And so um, they are, they, they are aware if it happens. Most people yeah. don't have someone in the house with them too. So uh, I was when I first started too. So they, they've got it under, they're, they're aware of it. Okay. All right. Thanks for being concerned. Yeah, I appreciate that though. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Have a great day.